Hi friends at Facebook. This is Calpun Pizza. Just uh, reminding you all who the true God, our Creator, is. The Egyptians knew that and it's been depicted 40,000 years ago. And of course, is Penis Christ and uh, the goddess of creation, male and female organs of generation. And here it is demonstrated by Egyptian epigraphy. It's right there. There's some in in uh, fifteen thousand year old uh, temples, and people raising Christ psychoses or God psychoses infected homes. They are extremely stupid and ignorant. And as you can see, um, they get conned all the time, especially in America. This millions of churches making people stupid and raping their mind. Uh, here is the autobotus of the Gadatun in Egyptian hieroglyphics. You can see this in tombs. It's absolutely a fact. And this is 5,000 years old. But there is older, like about 12,000 years ago, the worship of the penis. And that is the reason today you have all these crazy people, you know, <laughs> exorcism and all that. But in uh, Gobleke Tepe, about 12,000 years old, the uh, pronouns is the temples are made like vaginas. And then you have the penis was a door, the lady's uh, vagina was a door, the, everything was uh, and equated with the stars and with the sun rays. And look at the T, the shape of a cross, the sun rays incarnated as the Lord penis, Christ, our penis. So it is amazing that intellectuals and scientists in this 21st century do not understand their origins and who their creator is. And it is all due to Christ's psychosis or the neurological disorder of some big God belief. It's a schizophrenia type disorder because the true God is the penis of our fathers that shoot sperm into a vagina. Ninth month later here we are we emerge from the cave of creation and they don't seem to understand that in the united states and they have millions of churches in this country keeping the brain of children ignorant failed tarted and whose fault is it scientists Sane, in other words, atheist, without God belief on imaginary friends. Scientists, they don't, do not connect religion, belief for the schizophrenia type disorder it is. Nobody seems to see it. Look at Syria. Gassing their own people there is all due to Christ's psychosis or the psychosis of, belief, of believing gods. Because Christ means anointed savior. It can be anybody. It can be, it, it can be any, any imaginary friend that you choose it to be. That's what Christ means. Penis. It's the organ of generation. It's the male organ of generation. And Christ is an anointed savior, a God, a divine thing, a creator. And of course, the penis creates. So, we can call it penis Christ. But this is the psychosis nobody sees. Believing God is a mental illness and nobody sees it. It's going to make us extinct. It's the cause of all the problems in the world today. And it's propagating in churches. Million of these imbeciles, these psychopaths, racist, intolerant, stupid, 
the stagnated brain of children, more less than their brains, is worse than gassing them with nerve gas like they do in Syria. The United States is a stupid, imbecile, Christian, psychotic, lunatics that belong in a mental institution are the reason this country is so stupid. United States of America is the most, the most stupid country in the whole world. They believe in imaginary friends. They believe in resurrecting zombies that say with blood. That's what a Jesus Christ is. It's all propagating in churches. These people are despicable, disgusting, and they send missionaries all over the place. And atheists, clueless, like Dawkins and the rest, say nothing. They don't connect the dots. I don't know where their brains are at. But they were all product of coitus. The very well-known people here are infected with Christ psychosis, Nazi psychosis, uh, Chris Christianity, and Islam psychosis. Here they are. And some of them are in government. And they're not put in the mental institutions they belong. Uh, Dr. Tyson is incredible, amazing, but he doesn't see religious people like crazy people, like Dawkins. They are, we all create... <laughs> We're all proud of coitus and create uh, thoughts with the brain. And when the brain malfunctions, it cannot tell between fact and fiction. And it happens in all religions and it happens in schizophrenia. And uh, uh, the atheist scientists, I don't know this, and expose it. Here is Dennett. He doesn't see it either. So let's protest all the churches and put the Christ psychosis infected imbeciles in control of government in the institutions they belong. Uh, don't let them. Uh, don't let them teach children science. People of God faith belong in sanatoriums, just like schizophrenics. See, and uh, all these scientists, uh, they never, they never go from the beginning. They don't start from the beginning when discussing uh, reality with the um, Christ psychosis uh, infected people. People that believe in God, and what is God? There are as many as the brain can create is a concept. But people that believe in God's or imaginary friends, uh, they have a problem with the brain because uh, if you believe in imaginary friend in this 21st century, uh, you have a problem. Uh, just like schizophrenics, the same. They have the same imaginary friends with different names. And uh, atheist scientists do not address that. They never question the mental health and the sanity of people of faith, which do have a problem with the brain. They have thrown reason out the window. Years ago, those Neanderthals became a separate branch or a clade. We today know that there weren't any hominids anywhere except Africa until after around two million years ago. Our own branch, what we call Homo, evolved. Stone tools began to be used about 2.7 million years ago. There's another even earlier genus known as Australopithecus that originates around 4.3. We were with chimpanzees more than six million years ago, and we know that this is the segment of human evolution that today's symposium is about. Evolutionary biology, biologists is telling us where we came from, the origins. And atheist scientists never mentioned that when discussing <laughs> facts and reality with Christ psychosis infected imbeciles. They are anti science. Go back to hominids like this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, primates. And they all had brains, right? And we came from them, right? And they're all product of coitus, correct? And the brain evolved. So where is this God bullshit coming from? Just as schizophrenia, the same thing. The bizarre mythological beliefs in schizophrenia are the same like the bizarre mythological beliefs at the root of all religions. Same thing. Just a different name. Keep that in mind evidence from what we might think of as a planet of the apes, at least an old world of the apes. Species diversity 
right there in the Miocene, between 8 and 18 million years ago. This part of the primate family tree, our part, hominids. In San Diego, I have the great advantage of not having to take the time to explain what each one of these primates is. Didn't know for a very long time is exactly what the genetic relationships were among these primates. And it was due, starting in the 1960s and continuing all the way up until the modern genomic sequencing, we have now learned what our relationship is. We know that today the living mammals most closely related to ourselves are the two species of chimpanzees. And they only split about two million years ago. Unfortunately for the apes, we don't have very good fossil records. Down here, along our lineage, and a couple off our lineage, but closely related to us, are placed in the family hominidae. And what I mean, and most of the speakers in this symposium will use that name, and that's what we mean. Yeah, hominid. Hominid. So that's our real focus. And our so Dawkins, Harris, Dennett, Dr. Krauss, brilliant mind like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Man is amazing. Hey, a slab the chrysocotic infected imbeciles with facts. Don't be afraid. They're sick people. They're like schizophrenics. We must address their disease, which is some big God believe. Come on, scientists. Tell the truth. You're not insulting them. You just tell them that they're sick people with a, with a problem with the brain. They, cannot, they have neural array uh, deficits. You know, sensory gating deficits. Pulvin and nuclei, uh, um disease or or defect. Come on, come on, scientists. Come on, Dawkins. Why you never mention? You never question the mental health of the people that you're interviewing. When you address them to Christians, these are crazy people. They are sick people. Muslims are sick people. Any people of faith are sick people that believe in imaginary friends. And there are millions of churches in the United States corrupting the brain of children with this garbage and nonsense, keeping them stuck in the 12th century. That is the problem. That's the reason they're, they, they don't want to, uh, they want to cut funding for education. They want to cut funding for NASA. They want, I mean, come on, scientists. These are the nuts are in control of the government in Congress. So you have to address the mental health. Otherwise, he'll, he'll screw all of us up. Keep that in mind. That's the problem. You do not see the elephant in the room. Believing God is a mental disorder. It's like a schizophrenia. Same thing. So, tell it like it is. So, that's the only way we can actually survive and be able to, uh, to uh, um, get these people cured, their brains repair and put all the Christians, close all the churches up and put all the Christians uh, along with the mentally uh, ill, like depressed people, you know, like for people suffering from dementia, Alzheimer's, depression, and name it. Some we got believe Christianity is a mental disease. It's fact. So American atheist, by the way, Atheism means to be sane. Mention that all the time. When you're sane, you can tip it to fact and fiction. Your brain is working very well. That's atheism. And sometimes you have problems with the brain and all that, and uh, that's a defective brain. But if you believe in imaginary friends to be a reality, like in all religions, then you have a problem like a schizophrenia. So, American atheist, just wake up. Tell the fact. Tell it like it is. Learn neurology. Get educated in neurology, different, different uh, sciences, so you understand that we are a product of coitus. Don't be afraid to tell the truth. A slap the cry psychotic infected imbeciles with facts. You can bury them with facts before it's too late. You know the problem in Syria? What do you think it is? Religious psychosis. There it is. Study the Crusades, study the Inquisition, study all that. Religious psychosis. The same thing is happening today. But 
in the 12th century and before they had an excuse. They had no idea the brain was the creator of thinking. They had no idea about science. They believed in resurrecting somebody that said with blood. They had an excuse. It's like a child that at five years old believing in tooth fairies and Santa and Mickey Mouse and all that and believe they're real. But if a child believes in all this fantasy to be reality, when he grows up and is an adult and he's 18 or 19 years old, then he has a problem with the brain. That's exactly the same thing that happens in religious people, people of faith and schizophrenics. They believe in imaginary friends to be reality. So deal with it. It's a mental disorder. So we must address that. Tell it like it is. But the problem in Syria, these people gassing all these poor kids, and you see them there. You see the bullfights, uh, blood, crap. You see millions of churches molesting the brain of children, and nobody says anything about it. And stupid atheists with the brilliant brains up the ass and even slap the cryopsychotic infected imbeciles with facts. They're in control of Congress. They're in control of the country. Just atheists, wake up. You don't see it. That's the problem. So connect religious faith, especially zombie God belief to a mental disease. Just connect the dots. And you'll see that believing God is a brain disease. It's an anomaly like a schizophrenia, temporal lobe epilepsy, or some other ones, a neural array disconnect and deficiency. So tell it like it is. And then protest on the churches. Scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson, Dr. Krauss, Dawkins, go and protest on churches. Don't go to the Creation and Museum only that. No, go in front of all the churches and protest. All the neurologists ought to do that. And say shame, 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 shame on this uh, uh, theotars stack in the 12th century molesting the brain of children. That is because of intolerance, homophobia, racism especially, and all that. Psychopathy and all the shootings and all the problems, that is the cause of all this schizophrenia going on in because of these people, babies brought up in, in Christianity infected homes where these fairy tales are taught us true. That is the problem. So, hey, I tell it like it is. And atheist scientists, you are too. And the slap will decry psychotic infected imbecile with facts. I do it all the time. They hate the truth. Watch it, the wrong.